Okay, we're going to uh, shoot the flag. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> First order of business is uh, approval of meeting f minutes for um, uh, May's meeting. Are there any changes or Corrections for anybody? Second. Uh, uh, <laughs> I make a motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor? <laughs> Aye. Okay. Minutes are done. Uh, next one is um, public hearing for Stephen Spurrell, 16 Black Diamond Road Garrison. An applicant is seeking a special permit to construct a 987 square foot accessory structure with apartment. Uh, it's under Chapter 17520B. It requires a special permit. And I guess you're going to speak? And you're from, the, you're? I'm Annie Menace from Garrison Foundry Architecture. Okay. And um, our, our permit was flagged um, because our project is on, off of a private road. Um, so that was the reason for, we're seeking a, um, a special permit or variance, I guess I wasn't sure. Special no, permit, this, special this, use permit. This is for um, a special permit. Yeah, special yeah. use permit. Accessory yep. apartment, right? Yeah. Yeah, right. So okay. it's because it's on a private road. Otherwise, my understanding is we comply, um, that we are uh, under a thousand square foot footprint, um, and that's kind of the logistics. But um, Stephen and his mom and dad are here, and we spoke a little bit last time about why they're building this accessory structure. Um, it has multiple uses. Um, one, the main use is for Stephen and his parents bought this house about a year ago. Uh, Stephen lives in the city, and he has three children. And um, the house has three bedrooms, and it's fairly small. Um, and so when Stephen and his family come up, they need more space for family and friends and that kind of thing. Um, right. So it's an overflow space is one, one use for it. Also for Stephen, for his office, um, he works from home um, a lot up here, as many people do. And then also there's a pool structure there, but there's no pool accessory building for it. So it's the use is um, sort of a multi-use for the family. And um, I think last time they asked, you know, the question of would it be yeah, intended for an Airbnb? And that's absolutely never going to be the intent here um, or ever be used for that. It's really. Um, a particular need for this family um, because they have three kids and two grandparents and two parents and it's just not enough space for them. Right. Um, and also the way that the, the house is situated with the pool, it makes sense to create this extra space for them in this way. Right. Well, I'm just reading the denial letter from the, from the code enforcement officer. He says he's requiring you to get a special permit for accessory Yes, park. I think it's because of the private road. Um, that was my understanding. Well, yeah, there's a couple, and of, different, a couple of different things. It's, sure. it, it's an apartment. It's such, uh, there's a bedroom in there. There's a kitchen in there and so on and so right. forth. I mean, you know. Right. Uh, Which is mainly because of the pool. They want to have. Second house. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's you know, it's a kitchen and everything. It's, it's a second house, right? It's, like, it's a kitchenette, uh, you know. but yeah, I agree. And um, the reason why they want to have an ability to cook there is because they want to have overflow from the pool, come over, hang out, living. Well, space. I understand it completely. Yeah. You, know, I, I, you know, not, not unfortunately, it falls under that category. Absolutely, that you have to get yes. a special yeah, permit. We're, we're not trying to hide anything. Right, you know, right. no, I know. It's very up front, and uh, yeah. it makes it a lot easier for us when you're yeah. up front with us. Okay, yeah. well, that's for sure. So, like I say, this doesn't come under the. Um, you don't. We'd have to do the five factors for this. You know, because of course, there's not a variance, a special part. But it does come under the, the requirements. And I'm looking at it, and I'm seeing that um, they border health. You said you had a border health approval. On we this? do. We do. Do you yes. have it with you? Um, I believe the town has it. Um, if not, we can get a copy. Uh, we have. We've been working on the project for about two years. Um, okay. So we have, I have the set here, plus Beatty and Watson's drawings. We have the approved um, Board of Health approval for both the septic and um, for the additional bedroom. All right, because that falls under this, because under uh, 175.12.3, it says no permit, no permit shall be granted for an accessory apartment without the certification of the county Board yeah, of Health. Yeah, I'll make sure that you get but a copy. Septic um, tank. But yeah, we uh, don't have the letter with it. Um, I believe. I believe we do have Hudson County Health Department approval stamp. It's yeah. part of the package. Uh, it's all, yeah, maybe it's on Beatty and Watson's time. 
Yeah. We're, we're, but we also have a letter. We you have a letter, letter yeah. as well. They, so they usually stay, I can get say you a send copy. a letter with yeah, it. Okay. No, no problem. So I make sure you have that, otherwise you, you know, you're know you yes. not going to be able to yeah. get the building from it. Okay. Um, I'm trying to ask any other questions. Let's see what we have here. Uh, is this a private road or? That it's a private road, so that was I, that was my understanding why I okay. got flagged, I guess. Do you, is there a, a maintenance agreement on this road? I mean, for who does the plowing and stuff and everything else like that? Yeah. There is. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Could you come up to that? Because I, I got a question on, on the on the. Hand. But yeah, I think we it, we do have a, a maintenance agreement, and um, uh, Paul Hemus uh, Construction does the uh, the plowing and the maintenance on the road. Uh, when it's snowy, they they plow it. And okay, so there's a couple of houses there that are in this agreement. Yeah, I think we have like four neighbors, and we uh, supplied their uh, contact information uh, and details in the package that we submitted uh, in back in May. Okay, now look at this section here on it. It says if an accessory apartment is created on a lot which is accessed by a private right-of-way or easement for which there is a written maintenance agreement. No special permit shall be issued unless the maintenance agreement is amended to require the owner of the dwelling with the accessory apartment to pay an increased proportionate share of the cost of maintaining said right-of-way or easement to reflect the existence of an accessory apartment. I don't know how that comes in because I don't see, you're not making a special road for this, right? I mean, We're not making that, a special road for it, no. It's, it's built like literally like right across from the yeah. from the main house. Huh? Yeah, Adam, what what would if you read that? What section are you reading from? I'm well, section 175, uh, 12, uh, number uh, five, regarding you know departments, accessory departments. 175.12.5. C5, I'm sorry. C5. Huh? Yeah, no, no, I understand. I'm just trying to see, you know, according to this, it says that it has to be, has to be amended. I guess you, that would mean you would pay more <laughs> into the thing. Uh, I just want to see how, we, how this works legally. With, that's why I asked the attorney. Right, every every quarter or something yeah, a year. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. For you know, for the plowing maintenance uh, right. with uh, Paul Hughes Construction, but I I don't think I have in my inbox copy. But I, I'm sure I could get it. Right. You can kind of see right here. Yeah. This is the end of the so loop, and then hmm? the house is right here. Yeah. But they have the second. Uh, yeah. No, I think the same. I say I read it, you know, because these are these are requirements for the accessory apartment, so on, so like the forty thousand square feet, you 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 fit that and all like that. And you got the board health permit, but I saw here it says that uh, you're supposed to the agreement is supposed to be amended to require the owner to pay an increased proportionate share. So I'm just asking attorney. I mean, yeah, that could be uh, a condition of uh, uh, approval. How would we? Uh... But does it tie into? I mean, I think that either way it's fine. But I wonder. Just from a, does it have any language as far as like I understand if there's an extra road to plow that goes to some new structure, but maybe it's moot. I mean, if it doesn't, or, or just extra. Yeah, I guess what they, they I guess what they're looking at figuring that there would be another car or two another or something car like that. I guess yeah. I, I guess that's how it reads. That makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, it would be the same number of people again. Like it's just really there is uh, right now the bedroom situation in the main house is just inadequate if we're going to start spending you know summers at the property right. we, which we already do and so our car already stays in garrison full year round like we don't we don't we gave up our parking space in the city our car and my right. parents car the only two cars that are there and the only two cars that would be there going no I, I understand that with three are they going to grow up and drive? No. <laughs> Not the way they do. <laughs> I mean, like, eventually, yes. Like, maybe when they're, you know, like, eventually, yes. You're going to have more than two eventually. Yeah. The, old, the oldest one is 13. So uh, I'm hoping that the cars soon. are not going to come into the picture for a long time. Mm -hmm. All right. No, I, 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 I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, the... Uh, 
The answer is not for the, you know, not for at least five years. Yeah, but I see, but well, to cover us legally, okay, yeah. is what I'm trying to say. This is a requirement. Okay. Okay. So attorney says we could make that a contingent? You can make it a condition of approval. Okay. And make it a condition of approval if, we, if it gets approved that um, you would have to speak with your uh, board or, or your group who handles this and see if the, uh, they want extra money, <laughs> if you kick an extra money for that. If they say no or something is fine, just you would have to, you'd have to give us a letter one way or the other. Got it. So okay. a letter signed by our neighbors saying that we have Or discussed. signed by who's ever in charge of the group, whoever handles, whoever, who you pay the maintenance to. I right. mean, who, you know, that person, just a letter that uh, you're putting in your apartment and, and uh, you, you're, there's not going to be any more traffic because there's normal traffic, but it could be. You understand what I'm trying to say? Like, let's I say you, you were to sell, the next guy could end up renting, renting it out. Sure. Yeah. But, okay. Uh, yeah, but, totally. So we, 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 we can talk to our neighbors and or, and or whoever yeah. handles the uh, maintenance Whoever uh, handles arrangement the maintenance. for with Bohemus and, you know, right. provide them with a, you know overview of our plans and explain to them what's going on and right. figure out. Right. Like I said, what it says here, it says that. Uh, well, yeah, just to, I mean, if you look at that section 17512, um, I'm not sure if there is or is not a written road maintenance agreement. I, I don't know. I don't um, either. Uh, but. Yeah. What I'm saying is the next section is um, if an accessory apartment is created on a lot which is accessed by a private right-of-way or easement for which there is no written maintenance agreement, section C5 above, which is what the chairman referred to, shall not apply. Yeah, so if, no if there agreement. is no written road maintenance agreement, the way the code is written, there is nothing to amend and it doesn't apply. Right. Got so it. we could still make it a, a condition of approval if, if of course, the board uh, approves that satisfaction of this requirement in, in the code uh, would need to be satisfied before uh, the building department could issue a building permit for the proposed dwelling unit. Got it. Okay, so uh, if there's no written agreement, you know, if you guys, then you don't need it. So right. first order of, the, of business, let me get to the bottom of that and figure out whether there is or not. And, uh, and if there is not, then it seems like this is moot. And if it is, then you need we'll, it. Then we'll you talk, need we'll talk about it. it with our neighbors right. and we'll get a letter. We'll need that before you. I can give you, I can give you a, if it's approved, can I give me the, the form for the uh, building permit or not? No, because this is a conditional right. uh, approval. So it would need to wait satisfaction of the conditions. Normally you can give right. someone that slip if there are no conditions to be satisfied and they're right. done, but here there, okay. there are. Okay, what are you saying, what, what the attorney, what attorney is saying is, we have, we have a, I, like we, if we approved it tonight, I, said, uh -huh. I could give you a slip and you could take, go this tomorrow to the building department, he would give you a building permit. Okay. Okay, I can't do that because you don't have this answered. But we don't have to wait another month, okay? All you gotta do is uh, get an answer, okay? and give it to sec our secretary, you know, either one way or the other, okay, and I will go up to the office and sign it for you. Okay. Okay, so that way it'll be there, so you don't have to, you could do it within a couple of days, you know, we don't have to wait till next month's meeting. Right? Perfect. It doesn't have okay. to be improved by a meeting, right, Adam? I don't have to, I could do this, it, uh, we don't have to wait for, the, do we have to wait for another meeting? I, I mean, you, you can vote, and if you deem fit to approve with, with conditions, you can do that tonight, right. and I'll prepare uh, a resolution. But okay. the, what the conditions mean is that a building permit uh, won't be issued until the condition is satisfied. Okay, you understand? Yes. Okay. Uh, any, board, any board members have questions on this at any time? How come you don't have it attached to the main dwelling? So we talked about that, and I think we decided uh, for two reasons. One, the main reason being that the construction would be very disruptive to our enjoyment of the property a as it was happening, right? So we thought it would be less disruptive if it was happening, you know, away from the property such that, you know, we, they were not tearing down walls and, you know, having a lot of noise going on because we hoped to, you know, continue to, 
you know, enjoy the property over the summer when the construction was happening. We're a little delayed in our, we were thinking it would, you know, this would, we would start back in, you know, uh, May <clears throat> with the construction and that it would be going on during the pendency of the summer and, you know, that it would be better if that was happening sort of away from the main delay. This, the second reason was that it was just, um, uh, as you can see, you know, we kind of have a vision for when we have people over to swim in the, swim in the pool, hang out on the deck. You know, we've got this nice. Um, where was uh, the pool located next to that? Where was the where would the pool be? Sure. It's basically, like kind of like in front of those those yeah. those doors that open. So, like the idea is we can we can throw that open. We've got the kitchen. We can be bringing out food. You know, people can be going in, going out. We got a TV on the wall behind those doors. We can be watching the game. Like. Sounds great. So, we'll be there Sunday. Uh, there you go. Everybody's right, invited. So, so we've. Uh, this is the existing house. And initially, we, we did. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah. So the existing house is here. And the existing pool is here. And they have this very beautiful flat piece of property, which is unusual for Garrison. Architecturally, we did look at trying to attach it here. But this house has a lot of very unusual roof angles and funny conditions. It just looked very odd too. It didn't, it wasn't harmonious with the house. It would have been disruptive. It wasn't gonna get them what they want because it's not in a nice spot of the house. It's sort of in the back by the, the not pretty part of the house. So for ease of construction, cost of construction being very kind of simple and just a rectangle. And then also to enjoy the property, the land, you know, that's this beautiful spot here. It's a low rise building. They have a very pretty river view. And if we had tucked it back here, there's a very steep slope here. So you have to build super high yeah. also to yeah. see, cause this deck is kind of elevated. So we would have had to build up and in front of our neighbors in order to actually be able to preserve a view of the river. Well, Whereas if we build over here, the hills and the, and, and the and the angles going down and everything. That's right. Yeah, yeah. We, we have that on all the, the Beatty and Watson. Also here we have, I mean, it gets very steep here. So this is really not buildable. Um, and then the septic is here. Um, so we had, you know, limiting factors as far as where we could do it. Well, um, we can't see it on that map. That's a problem. Oh, no problem. You have the Beatty and Watson. For some reason, I didn't bring the Beatty and Watson site plan with us. But this is our site, but this is the original survey. You might get it. Sorry. Um, this is the original survey, which you can see a little bit better. Um, yeah. But you do have the, I apologize, I don't have the Beatty and Watson, but in your packages, you have the Beatty and Watson plan right there. Um, but you can see, th these are the topos. It's a little darker on this plan. So this whole part is completely flat, uh, almost completely flat. Um, and then it has a steep dive down to the neighbor property. So this is not a really buildable area, plus it wouldn't be attractive. Um, and then again, over here, this would be very difficult from an architectural perspective to build on what Stephen was saying about trying to elevate it. It's a raised pool, so they would have to come up higher even just to walk to the pool, irregardless of a view. Um, so we're trying to keep it very simple and beautify the, the land and make use of this nice piece of property. They, they already use this place already. They have a little fire pit over there. It's a nice spot that's sort of underutilized on their, on their land. How long the property line will be? Um, I think we have that on the Baiting Watson too, but I, I believe we're like 50 feet, around 50 feet. We can look on our... Um, uh, we're, we're well within our setback. Yeah. Um, we have that on, on the Beatty and Watson. Not intruding into the setback. Yeah, we're, we're, we're further off than yeah. we need to be. Yeah. Uh, your, your neighbors, will this be visible for, to your neighbors? <coughs> Not to, the only person who could possibly see it would be the neighbor up the hill. Um, but they see everyone's house. Um, so this low rise one story structure would be less obtrusive than the existing house that's that's here. Um, it doesn't impede their view, doesn't impede their 
Like, we were trying to keep it just a very simple kind of garrison-like house with, you know, cedar shake singles, shingles on the outside and just a very simple structure. Something that feels very harmonious and sort of easy, you know, nothing that's oh, going to make a statement or... The neighbor's neighbor. Um, the neighbor? No, yeah. Give me an exact measurement. Who do you think your nearest neighbor is as far across as the street? As you can see this property. As far as who could yeah. see or who... I'm, I'm talking about minus... Oh, uh, then uh, probably across the street. You're, uh, Patty Smith. Patty Smith across the street would be the closest in proximity to the house. But she, she wouldn't have any uh, like visibility yeah. of this structure yeah, because not. from her point of view, the main house would get in the way. If she was notified, if she had any problems, she would be here or she would let us know. So, she would know. be here. Be Believe, me. <laughs> Believe me. So. Yeah. No, we had a lot of conversations about that. We didn't want it to feel unusual to the house itself and also not, we really wanted it to feel very that was a, and that was a big reason for not going here and attaching to the property because it would we would have had to build higher mm -hmm. in order to have a view of the river and and that would have gotten in the view, way of the sweepies or the sweepies and the sea coaches yeah. and we've had many conversations with them about how we can accommodate their view. Uh, they actually their address is Upper Station Road, but they're they're adjacent to our property. Mm -hmm. yeah. When you finish, how many square feet talking total building will there be? The building is on between two buildings. Oh, the how house. How many square feet will there be between two buildings? The house is twenty eight hundred. Okay. Roughly, and then the main house is so I guess a little less than thirty eight hundred. So to in that total be thirty eight hundred something like that. Something like that. Yeah. This is nine nine uh, eighty seven. Yeah, so somewhere in that range. I think the house is a little less than two. This is the, the new one to be nine eighty seven. Yeah, I'm with the total. Yeah, how much? Well, nine eighty seven plus okay. the twenty eight hundred. Okay. Well, you have to you have to stand up. Okay, come, come on over here. Okay, take your time. Just tell us who you are. <laughs> Gina Lowe. I live at 40 Upper Station Road. Okay. And my understanding is our property is between Patty Days and their property. So my question is, how close are you to our property? So I don't, I don't think that that can be right because Patty is so Black Diamond. If, if Black Diamond and Hill is right here, we, Patty is across the street from us. So there's nothing in between our property and Patty's property other than the road. On this little site plan, where, where are you? So this is, you know. So I might have the wrong road, but I got a letter that you were up against our property in the mail. I am across the street from Patty Hearst Driveway. Our driveway is oh, across not, the okay. street. Oh, you're far away. Not, not so Patty, not Patty Hearst, Patty Smith. Day. I'm sorry, Patty, Patty Smith. Smith. Yeah, yeah, you're on a, a, a different road, actually. I don't think you'd be able to see this house from your, from your house. So you're not on the road in the back. The private road. No. You might be uh, possibly for the next for lower station Patty, road. No, we're on no. upper station road. Okay. So you you live between the uh, sea Kirchers and the church. No. no. I live on the when you come up, we're the first property on the left side. Oh, you're you're far. In, you're far I and yeah. I believe Patty Smith is up against us. On the left, our driveway is across from Patty Day's, Patty Hearst Day. Okay. Yeah. Hear that? Yeah. You, you have no, no. Black no Diamond Road is on the property at all. No. So Black Diamond is Sierra. basically at the bottom by the by the uh, train lower, station. Lower. Low off of lower station. Station there. Road. Yeah. Yes. All right. I was confused yeah. because yeah. they yeah. sent a letter. Are yes. you on the same road, that private road? I am not in the private road. Okay. No. All right. I we are not. We are off the upper station road. Okay. All right. But do you have, what, are your concerns answered with this, or where? where uh, I was. I received the letter, and yeah. um, I'm not as good as I should be. And I thought Black Diamond, but I thought they were talking about Patty Smith's property goes along the side of the back, and there's a private road. When you come up out of Garrison Landing, right. if you don't make the turn. I've been to Patty Smith's house, so I know exactly what you're right, talking about. Right, right. So our property comes down there. So I was thinking, well, is that why they're getting a letter? Are they, they have a pool, 
are they building another house? So I received a letter from the township. So I guess that is what confused me and what I needed clarity on. Right, right. So, okay. Do you have any concerns about this? I... Not on the other side of the road, no. Okay. Only if it was on the other private road oh. up against our property. Good. Good thing you came. Well, you came. Good thing you came. Yeah. Oh, I, clarity. <laughs> it is clarity. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sorry Thank you. for the misunderstanding. That's okay. No, that's, that's okay. okay. That's, okay. No, that's what this is all about. That, that's why we send the letters out. So people know and they know what's going on. There's no secrets here. And that's why everybody that's knows why what's I going think. on. So I could be educated. Uh, I'm good. glad you've learned something. I guess I need to come more often. Sure. <laughs> come all the time. We got seats. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Plenty of room. Thank you. Okay. Am I correct from reading the uh, drawings that the accessory building is no more than 21 feet high? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's very, it's low rise. It's one level. Um, and it's low rise. And basically, that's on um, slab. Okay. Okay. So yeah. it's a one story. It's one story. Structure. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions from the board? Any other board members have any questions? Uh, is a public uh, hearing. Anybody in the audience would like to speak to this besides uh, the young lady who just spoke? No? Okay, that's it. Well, that's, then at this point, I'd uh, make a motion to close the public hearing. All second. All in favor? Uh, aye. All right, motion close. Okay. Uh, on the call for a vote. Now, if, it, if it's approved, it's going to be contingent, right, uh, Adam? Um, right, I'll, I'll write a, in the resolution, I'll make any approval contingent on satisfaction of the requirements for an accessory apartment as set forth in the code. Okay, and you could find out or, you know, get that settled and then let the secretary know and she'll let our... I'm embarrassed I don't know the answer to that question, but I'm sure that Patty will know or, yeah, yeah, yeah. we can find it out. Very, not be, yeah. It may not be a maintenance agreement, I don't know, but it's, like yeah. I say, the attorney, it's, it's covered both ways. Right. Okay, right. is what if I'm trying to say. If there is a written maintenance agreement, then we will we will talk to our neighbors and figure out if we need to money, money from you. Just more. just the fact that they know that, that it's there, you know, like right. that and everything else like that. Right. Okay. All right. Uh, the public hearing is closed on a call for a roll call vote. Uh, Mr. Sistone? I vote in favor. Mr. Lim? I'll vote in favor. I vote to approve. And I vote to approve. Okay, so you're set. Thank you. Uh, like I said, what the attorney said, he's going to write the resolution. So it's going to take uh, I don't know, a week or something like that. I, I could uh, certainly get it out within like the next 14 days. Okay. All right. And That's then fine. you'll, you'll let the uh, yeah. secretary yeah. know. Yeah. She'll call him and we'll all set. Okay. I don't want to hold you up any longer than you have to be in your good Thank you very much. Appreciate oh, it. Thank, thank you, guys. Thorough. Okay. Thank you. You're all set. Okay. When it gets hot in July, we might see you at the pool, so hey. don't, uh, okay, you know. Uh, <laughs> All right. You made it sound, you made it sound really good. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, next order of business is, um, let's see, proposed accessory structure at 77 Lower Station Road. Uh, application proposes an accessory structure at approximately 500 square feet of disturbance on steep slope. Also, the uh, floor area of the proposed accessory apartment uh, excludes a total allowable 800 square foot or 30% of the 1,260 square foot principal house. Uh, proposed accessory structure is 998 square feet. Since the steep slopes and accessory apartment diminishes, uh, dimensions do not meet the requirements of the Phillips Town zoning, uh, tonight on 17536 B and 17512 C on building permits is denied. Is anybody going to speak here for that tonight? Uh, you? I am also here for you that. You got that? So okay. All right, take your time. Oh, I see you got a letter. You got a letter signed here too. That you're going to represent them, right? Okay.
So I am also speaking to this property um, when you're ready. Okay. Yeah, so it's sort of a funny coincidence um, that I'm here again. <laughs> um, both of these projects have been going on for a year and change. Um, right. uh, this one a little shorter than the last project. Um, and they happen to share some characteristics. Um, uh, we do other work than accessory structures, <laughs> but these two just happen to be um, uh, unusual circumstances that um, these families are trying to solve uh, okay. through this use. Um, Charity is here, one of the owners. Um, just introduce her here. Um, they live on Lower Station Road. Okay. And um, they have a, um, a small, smaller home that we have done work on over the years. It's sort of a very sweet kind of typical garrison cottage. Um, it's uh, about 1,300 square feet, and they, uh, both, they're both two working adults with three kids, um, and that said, they, they, they have no problem with the size of their house. They like the size of their house, the way that it's set on the property. Again, they have an unusual property, but they're not looking to expand their house, put an addition on. Right. But they have two working adults that need um, office space and storage space, that there's no space to store things in a 1,300 square foot house. Recreation um, room. Recreation room for kayaks and things like that. Um, so we're here to talk about this project on two different levels. One is um, because the house is 1,300 square feet, um, this proposed structure is over 50% uh, of what the um, current square footage of the house is. Right. And then also the way that the, um, the, way that the house is, is sitting, um, there's a portion of the house that is on a steep slope. So there's two different conditions that um, we're addressing tonight. Um, and um, we're hoping to get your feedback on. Um, and and talk it uh, through. Well, I spoke with the attorney this because I was a little confused on the... We spoke today as well. So, yeah, we clarified. Because uh, it comes under accessory apartment, and you're not putting an accessory apartment. It's an accessory structure. Right, it's an accessory right, structure. exactly. So I think That's you and Adam, you spoke with her on that, or...? Correct. Correct, yep. and... We uh, clarified that, yeah. Okay, so... Uh, well, no, no, it's not your fault. I'm just trying yeah. to say that the way I'm reading it here. So uh, what you're really looking for is uh, a variance on the area. The area. But the area for the building. And the other thing would be a special use permit for the steep s slopes. That has to go through the uh, planning department. Right. right, right. We spoke okay. a little bit about that today. And then so, we also talked to Beatty and Watson and Anderson. He talked to you. Jason spoke with you a little bit. So I'm, I'm fairly clear, and I spoke to Charity about the possible next steps. If, right. You well, know, next step would be the, the quickest way to do it. I don't want to send you there and come back and forth or like that. Uh, we spoke quickest way to do it, I think, would be for us to... If we uh, feel the package is complete, we'll vote on that, and we'll set up a public hearing next month. Okay. Okay? But then you'll have to get in touch way before that with the planning board, get in touch with them as quick as you can. Okay? Right. Because uh, even if we approved it, we wouldn't be able to give you uh, a right. permit. I was, um, when I was discussing with Beatty and Watson, um, whenever you're ready, it could be as soon as tomorrow if things... Go, I can set up um, like a pre-app meeting, if that would make sense, with the planning department. Um, Beatty and Watson and myself can sit down with Greg and the town engineer and kind of go over the steep slope issues um, and look at their plan and how we're trying to um, solve some of, the, some of the steep slope, Yeah, if yeah. that makes sense. I, we, we would, um, you know, I can write a letter uh, on behalf of the zoning board referring the steep slope component mm -hmm. of the application to the planning board, just so you have sure. uh, a record of that. Okay, that, that would, okay. we'll see how it all goes, but that sounds great. That's probably the easiest way, because if I, if, I, if I just send you there, then you gotta go back here, and go back here, back and forth, it'd be another couple of months before you. Right, the okay. last thing we wanna do is yeah, right. kind of spun and then, in the well, wheel that's what there. we're trying to avoid. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, does everybody have any questions on this for tonight? I mean, as far as complete. Basically, it was not complete. I'm sorry? It's not complete. Okay, why? You just said we have to, we have to get more work. Well, done. yeah, but we're talking about the application. It has to go to the planning board. Right. We're, we're, all we're looking at is variance. Okay. That's the only thing. We're just doing, we're doing the variance for the size of the uh, house. I mean, our structure that they're building is more than 30% right. of the original structure. As far as the steep, steep slopes, we're not getting involved in that. If we, would, if we would approve the variance, we still couldn't give them a building permit. Right. 
because of the, uh, we'd have to wait for the permit for the uh, approval for the uh, planning board. Right. Okay. And just so we're all clear, because there, I was getting confused too, I, and correct me if I'm wrong, um, but I believe the difference, uh, an accessory structure can be no more than 50%. Right, and then um, or 800 square feet, and an accessory apartment is the 30 30 percent. Am I right. right about that? I, I have to look it up, but I, yeah, yeah, so. right. yeah, you're um, proposing an accessory structure, right, as it's defined by the code, and uh, because the structure that you're proposing is greater than half the size of the principal building, right. you need a variance for that. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I did the, confusing, the confusing part was the accessory apartment thing. That, that yeah. kind of threw, threw us all off. I sure, think, so. yeah, yeah, me too. Okay, but yeah. the attorney, he'll speak to the building inspector and they'll yes, we'll, he'll work, I'll follow up with they'll work that. that out. Yeah. Okay, uh, it looks like you have everything here. <clears throat> I need the five factors, but I think you had the five factors here. <clears throat> yeah. Did you? Huh? They got it in the back there? Back of what? Back of the application? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, I see it. Right, thanks. Okay, I think you got the. You got the uh, Plans and you got the survey. Okay, so I took it, to me. it looks complete to me. Anybody have any questions on, on the completeness? Right. I just plan to make a motion that the application is complete. We'll set up a public hearing next meeting, which would be Monday, July 11th. <clears throat> Can I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Aye. So you're all set. You pretty Great. much know where we're, what Thank track you. we're on now. Wonderful. I appreciate it. So we'll see you in a month. Yes. I, I will follow up um, with the planning department right. and Greg. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, any old new business? Old business. I wish, um, uh, Mr. May, uh, Councilwoman uh, Carter is not here tonight, but uh, she did an e email and she told me that uh, she spoke with the town attorney regarding the 5G. You know, so they're going to look into the 5G, and uh, oh. he, yeah, he's going to look at the 5G and see if the you know I know there are other towns that do have you know uh, codes to it. You know, right. so so maybe he can. Maybe we can get some code so we don't get caught like we did with the wind turbine. Right. Okay. Any other? Anything else? Other business? <coughs> Motion to adjourn? Second. All in favor? Aye. No argument there. Okay. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.